Hello everybody, Callisto by Redux here with a tutorial for a random number generator. So this random number generator will give you a single output, and if you are not familiar with binary to hexadecimal conversion, I think this is the type of random generator you are looking for. In fact, this green circuit by itself would suffice as a pseudo random number generator that is specific to a user's starting the circuit and turning off the circuit so depending on how long the circuit will run it will give you a different output every time so if you're looking for a very simple pseudo random number output generator this this is about as simple as it gets I believe I've not seen something more compact or more simple so let's take a look at how this works we'll go ahead and start this circuit with this yellow circuit right here it's a very simple mono stable circuit it will give a single tick pulse so we'll go ahead and press this button here we got two repeaters set to one tick this sticky piston gets activated and sends out a single pulse and as you can see once every tick a different redstone light or these various outputs get activated so you're getting a different output once every one tenth of a second at this point you could in fact even delete this yellow circuit and I have tested this out in single player and multiplayer and it seems whether you log out of the server or the chunk gets unloaded this signal getting cycled through this green circuit here here will remain no matter what so feel free to leave that yellow circuit there if you want but I believe it is no longer necessary so as you can see here we have a pseudo random generator which when this lever is off will continue to cycle and when you turn it on you get an output when you turn it off you get a different output off on and here we have another output so again, this is dependent on how long the user leaves this running for. So this would suffice as a pseudo random output generator. Now, if this is not good enough for you here, what we have here is actually a device that will give you an output at a random amount of time so given this device that will give you a signal at a random amount of time which will turn this pseudo random number generator off at a random given amount of time you essentially end up with a completely random output generator so this device is actually very similar to the firework randomizer I use in my last tutorial I will link to that in my description only there is an RS NOR latch attached to it however in this tutorial I will show you how to make the whole thing so let's go ahead and set this up very quickly set a torch right here and redstone right here and as you can see every time you press this button this random timer here will activate at a random time and give you a different output every time and this green circuit could in fact be extended to as many outputs as you want so it's not limited to five if I ha as I have here but I'm just showing you the basis is how it works as you can see we get a random output every time you press the button and only a single output so there's no need for binary to hexadecimal conversion so let's go ahead and take a look at how this works okay so for familiarity we will go ahead and start with a red block as the power source although if you want the actual random number generator and not just the pseudo random number generator this will not suffice as your input 
Um, from here, let's go ahead and extend four blocks out in either direction. One, two, three, four. There we go. And on the very end of each of these four blocks, we'll go ahead and put half slabs. Half slab, half slab, and skip one, place a full block, skip one, place a full block, skip one, and a full block again. Repeaters facing away from your lever, and redstone, which will lead into each of these repeaters. So this pseudo random generator does use locking repeaters so that's essentially what we're setting up here these repeaters are leading into this line of redstone here and we have repeaters directly in front of these other repeaters sending a signal back and forth through them and this lever will activate these repeaters here locking these repeaters with the one tick signal running through it. So I use these half slabs here so we can compact this design a little bit more and have the redstone running directly below it as you can see here. If this was a full block here it would cut off this signal but as it is now with a half slab it will not cut it off. So we'll bring the signal up as you can see and fill in the gaps with redstone. So once again we will use a yellow circuit which will be a monostable circuit in order to activate this. Let's go ahead and go four blocks out break this one here, place this sticky piston in its place, another solid block on top of it, a repeater set to one tick, default one tick, another one default one tick, piece of redstone on top of this, and we'll go ahead and place a button on this yellow block here. So now when we press this button this monostable circuit will send a single tick pulse through this green circuit and we will have a pseudo random number generator. As you can see a single tick is pulsing through one repeater at a time and if we ever activate this lever here it will effectively lock the signal to only one repeater. So at this point, we could break the monostable circuit. We'll no longer need this. And I will go ahead and show you where the outputs would be. Go ahead and place them up here, actually. And so, as I said before, this will be a 5 output, although you could just extend this even further by placing more blocks out this way with more repeaters locking into it every other repeater or every other block but for this one essentially you have to choose whether you want your output on this side or this side and then have an output on every redstone in between the repeaters so we'll go ahead and place repeaters for outputs here on these gray blocks and just to show you guys we will place redstone lamps at each of the outputs and once again this is cycling through each one of the outputs once every one tenth of a second and when you press the lever depending on how long you let it run for you will get a different signal every time and it is pretty hard to make it 
go to the same redstone lamp every time. In fact, I can't even do it if I want to. This gives me some ideas for possible casino games you could make. Although I guess it is possible if you get really good. There we go. Oh, missed it by one. There we go. Anyways, if you want a true random generator, I will go ahead and attach the random timer output and we will make this into a true random generator. Right, well let's go ahead and hook up the randomly timed output now. We'll start on the locking repeater farthest over here. Build one block up and three blocks out and this will be our new power source so we'll go ahead and do it in red, place a button on it, and a torch in the back. Now this will be leading into a five clock, so we'll go ahead and leave a gap there, place three pieces of wool, one up and over as you can see here, a repeater to get a signal from this torch, another repeater set to four ticks, piece of redstone, torch and another piece of redstone. So as you can see the clock is now not running and it only runs when you press the button. Now this will actually later be turned into an RS NOR latch so it'll run longer than you saw there. But let's go ahead and hook up the randomizer first. So we'll be getting a signal from this torch that is off there. So we'll place a block here with a repeater facing outward from it. Now this is the same randomizer I used in my firework randomizer, so we'll go ahead and place a dispenser there. A block in front of it with a torch that is activating the dispenser here. Now we need a three with one block coming out area that holds water, so we'll place those there and then go ahead and build a barrier around it so the water doesn't spill all over a redstone. And for this part directly in front of the dispenser, we will actually be using a regular piston to block off the water here. Now we'll go ahead and fill this up with water. So we will put a source block right here, source block right here, and as you see the water should be flowing towards the piston here. Now on top of this piston, we'll place two pieces of sand, a block next to the upper piece of sand. That should have a lever that is always powered on, a piece of redstone on it. Now from this bottom piece of sand, we will cover the flowing water and the dispenser and place redstone above it as you see here. And that is it for the randomizer. We'll go ahead and stick a empty bucket and a full bucket inside the dispenser. Now we need to get this signal from the randomizer. In order to do that, we'll need a repeater leading out from this sand. So whenever this sand gets pushed up by the bud here, we will get a signal from it. And we'll carry the signal downward as such. Now, as I said before, we'll hook up our RS NOR latch. Go ahead and use magenta wool for that. So we'll place blocks, as you can see here. And then we'll break this piece of redstone right here and place a block in its place. Now we'll have a torch here, torch here, repeater leading into our original red block redstone on top of it and we could hook up this line now and there you have it a fully random number generator at this point we can go ahead and break this lever here and as you see whenever we push this button this RS NOR latch will be set this randomizer will be activated and over a random amount of time, the RS NOR latch will be reset, selecting a number. So let's go ahead and check it out in action.
And there you have it, a random number generator. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Until next time. Okay, everybody, I thought I'd show you at the end of this video exactly what I used this random generator for. It is our second map of our Cops vs. Robbers game type. Here you can see it, not quite done yet. If you haven't seen our first map, go ahead and check it out on Planet Minecraft or watch the trailer on my YouTube video. And by the time you're watching this video, this map will likely be done. So let's go ahead and take a look at the redstone. This green circuit you see here is actually a slightly modified version of the random number selector that I showed you. And what this is doing ex exactly is leading into this adjustable combination lock, which feeds into this RS NOR latch array you see here. And we have four of these. So each one of the selectors chooses a different number in the combination lock. So here you see we have seven selected. Here we have two. Here we have six. And here we have one. Now also, these signals are getting fed to this emerald line, which has a redstone decoder. So it depends on signal length and sends the number output to this seven segment display. Let's go ahead and pop into this dark room. And you can see we have 1627 selected. So let's go ahead and get a new number randomized. As you can see here, this is the RS NOR latch with the random output timer. We'll activate it. And there we have it. A new four digit combination codes should be selected. Let's go ahead and take a look. 2417. So now we can go over here to the nine digit keypad. Now, if we type in the incorrect number, even if we end with the correct one, the vault door will not open. Now let's do the correct number. Two, four, one, seven. Throw a torch down. And as you see, the vault door opens. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out our Cops vs. Robbers map. And until next time,